Adam Yates, the specialist in the Middle East, toying with his food on the famous Jabal al Akhtar Green Mountain Climb. The stage was shortened. It's, it's an easy stage anyway, but it was modified 72 kilometers long. This is the profile last year. You can see it's just a Unipuerto walk up Watts per kilo smash fest up a 5.7 kilometer long wall. That was the stage where Jorgensen did his best climbing performance of his career up to that point and then showed it later on in Paris East. But Van Sevenon actually beat him uh, to win the stage, but Jorgensen held on for GC. So Van Sevenon's also here in this race. They set the record last year, 18.12 on Green Mountain. They went really, really fast. And Finn Fisher Black was in the leader's jersey, but he's got Adam Yates on his team. So Yates is, you know, you've seen him on Jabal Hafid year in, year out in the UAE tour, which is on next week. He's very, very good in these sort of efforts. Breakaway went with Hub Arts as the best rider in that breakaway, the Antimarche rider. UAE, as I said, leading the, uh, the race at this point. So they rode to chase the break with a couple of their dev team riders who were here in the team. You can do that with uh, races that aren't world tour level. You can put your dev team riders up into the world tour team to fill out the squad. But here we get to the climb. I don't know what the extreme weather was supposed to be. Maybe if it's under 30 degrees in Oman, it's extreme weather, <laughs> but it looked pretty good, <laughs> the weather to me. And Ulisi immediately started pace, setting a tempo. And he's good on these efforts too. These Unipuerto efforts, Ulisi's very, very good at them. But Hub Arts dropped everybody else in the breakaway. He'd already lost quite a bit of time in GC, though. That was the problem for him. And then Adam Jates starts to set a tempo. Fisher Black's shoulders were rolling. And it looked to me like Yates would pace... And not drop Fisher Black, but then when someone like Heat attacks, Yates obviously has to go with him. Yates was four seconds ahead of Heat on GC at this point, and we've still got over, I don't know, five, seven minutes left on this climb. And the tactical benefit for Yates is, and for UAE, is that Heat has to keep pacing. Now, maybe he didn't need to keep pacing the whole time as much because Fisher Black, I think, lost 30 seconds to him. But he has to pace, and that means he's got Yates getting a free ride, albeit not the best gradients to get a draft. There's still some benefit to it. And you could tell almost immediately as they catch up to Hubarts, who was really, really good, actually, not to lose that much time. He ends up third on this stage. You can tell how easy Yates was doing it. He just half-wheeled, hit the whole climb basically just sitting there he had also won himself on this climb in 2022 when he was on Antimarche you remember that the thumbnail of Tom de Vrint going parallel or sideways probably a, a bit earlier than this on the climb uh, but he's no match for for Adam Yates who came third in the tour last year who has put Pagatja under pressure on Jabel Hafeet which isn't as steep as this effort and it's more a 25 to 30 minute climb dropped even a pole on that last year and I wonder how far Yates could have gone because it seemed like he was just going to sit there, defend, maybe Fisher Black comes back, not try and put him in a spot, and he's looking back, see where he is. Uh, you can just tell he's doing it easy, dancing out on the pedals. So I think Yates could have gone much, much faster. Still breaks the record, though, uh, with like 6.8 watts per kilo for 18.04. Check out the article linked down below showing all the watts per kilo and uh, climbing records from Jabal al Akhtar over the years. And with about 150 meters to go, he puts on the afterburners, and that's it. He says, see you later, Jan Hurt. Puts 11 seconds into him in 150 meters. So I don't know who else is turning up to the UAE Tour next week, but... Yates is going to be the red hot favorite because he basically set the record on this climb in his sleep, just sprinting at the end easily. Takes the GC win and the stage win. Easy does it. He had finished well enough to actually come second in GC overall because he put enough time into Finn Fisher Black and Christian Rodriguez again did a pretty good effort on Arkea Samsung. He always seems to be do reasonably good watts in these sort of walk up and whack it climbs but then you don't see him much later in the season in like the Vuelta for example and then actually Ulisi 
out sprints Fisher Black and drops him at the end despite having paced uh, earlier. But it all ends well for UAE overall as a team. One and three in GC, the stage win. It's just Fisher Black who loses out. Here's what Yates had to say after the stage. You know, we started off real strong with Muscat Classic and, uh, and then Finn won again another stage. So the team's been working really well. Um, you know, we also have the two young guys from, from, from the UAE and, uh, you know, it's a nice experience for them to, to come here with us and, and, uh, and yeah, managed to win. So uh, um, all week we've, we've worked really well and, and uh, we managed to win, so it's been super nice. But here's the GC standings. Yates winning, as I said, ahead of here at Fisher Black, then Ulisi, Rodriguez, Bagui, Van Sevenot, a little bit disappointing in seventh, Coulsit, Kobo, Far Prost in tenth. A little bit strange, uh, the race, because yeah, there was a really bad weather a couple of days ago on stage two, but then they shortened this, not that it really makes a difference, but they're shortening this stage, where they do an extra 30, 50 kilometers of flat, it makes no difference to these guys, but the weather would look really, really good. But let me know what you think. Is this foreboding for the UAE Tour next week, the biggest World Tour stage race yet of the year? Maybe it means that the other teams need to take advantage of any crosswind action they can see or find to put Yates and UAE under pressure. But I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you with those UAE Tour recaps next week. Ciao.